So yes, we are in a war. This nose thing is driving me a little crazy. Uh, we have taken um, Frankfurt, Hamburg, Berlin. We have to rename all those, actually. We haven't uh, taken any of those. I think I might have been waiting for the war to end before I take that. I don't remember if I'm going to be taking Essen. I mean, if I take Essen, that's a lot more lapis lazuli. How's our... Uh, that's not the button. How is our Monopoly status going? 33% right now. And that's... How many? I guess we go over here. Three of nine. So if I got these two, that that would be five of nine. I clearly have a Monopoly at that point. Son of Stig with the resub! Hello! Some say that he's made out of lapis lazuli. Others, that he's made out of sheep. All I know he is, he's the son of Stig. Senonation! 661001, thank you very much for the sub. See, this is a more realistic helmet, okay. I feel like Essen is Quill's most invaded city. Is it? I don't know. You know, like, Essen is one of the cities. This, the reason I know the name of the, the city Essen is from playing Pandemic, like the, the board game. Because that's, I think... I don't remember if there's any other German cities in Pandemic, but there is Essen, weirdly enough, as opposed to Berlin or Munich or Hamburg or anything like that. Um, probably just because of where it might be positioned. And so I was like, oh, look at this funny little city, Essen. Um, so yeah, I think we might take it. Anyway, I think right now we'll go to next turn. We're at negative 14 happiness. That is not actually crippling in this mod. Uh, oh yeah, we built the Pioneer here because we did burn down a city over here because it was in a stupid place. So we're going to rebuild that. What is this? Oh, town. Um... I think I'm going to build it here on the coast. I like it. Uh, technically, there's going to be overlap on the deer, but that's not really much to be worried about. I mean, I could move it somewhere else. No, I like this spot. I think it's going to be fine. It's going to get to work the uh, the horses and the bison right away. One tick out, it's going to be able to work the fish. So it'll start sort of snowballing quite quickly. X603, thanks for the sub. And Rigma, thanks for the resub. I'm going to send it over there. Clang, 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 clang. Can you guys, like... Is that clangy for you guys? I think it is. Oof. Da, da, da. Jadomba. Thank you very much for the sub as well. Alright, let's just keep moving here. Quill needs the chocolate. Yeah, there's the chocolate. We're going to be getting that as well. So we got a little bit of bombard over here. So we are at war with Ethiopia. We have to remember that. But they haven't actually sent any ships our way at all. Interesting little uh, Carthaginian town over here. Okay, I put up the volume, so that was really loud for me. Blind Nut, thank you very much for the tip. Finished my exam phase at uni today. Hey, congratulations. Uh, so happy enjoying your stream before having some good German beer with some friends. Oh, man. Keep up your good YouTube slash Twitch work. I love your content. And greetings from Bamberg. Well, thank you very much, Blind Nut. All right, can I... It is really hard to see with this thing in here. With the nose guard, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I think we're just going to go and blow that up. Uh, the Corvette can reach, right? So if we do just... Pew! Oh, wow. We're at minus 12. I mean, we'll get a little bit more unhappiness taking this, but not too much. Um, we might have enough to go for a direct annex, actually. And just shave a little bit of time off this. Because it's such a smaller city, it's not going to generate that much more unhappiness. So I'm going to go ahead and annex it right away, which is going to be fine. And um, I'm going to queue up a courthouse here, although obviously it won't be building it until it's actually out of resistance. But we'll save ourselves a wee bit of time over that way. Uh, this frigate here, this frigate, is mostly, I think, trying to keep an eyeball on Ethiopia. Which is quite far away from us. But I just, yeah, just keeping... Oops, I didn't want to use that key. I want to keep it awake. There we go. But just keep an eye around. Alright, let's heal you up. Let's heal you up. Um, I was going to say, there is some ship stuff going on up here, actually. That's an actual fully healed frigate. Excellent. Come up here. And let's blow up this boat. Now, we are going to have to wait X number of turns now before we can declare peace. Um... Because of... Oh, that's an Ethiopian. Droman. Wow, that is quite old. Um, because of the game mechanics, they did set it up so that when you when a city exchanges hands, it will it takes X number of turns because, before the AI is actually willing to negotiate peace. Which I think is a fine mechanic. Mm -hmm. Can't you keep it awake by hitting the space bar? Yeah, that's, that's normally what I do. Um, but I hit, like, the alert thing. And, I mean, I could have just found the, the wake-up button to, to re-toggle it. But it was easier to just move it back and forth and then call it done. 
All right, frigate. Oh, this is a frigate with plus one range. Well, let's move you over here. That's going to be fine. Blow up that Draman. Excellent. And blow up a bunch more German units so that we're going to generate more war score and they'll be that much more willing to peace out. You wait there. Uh, we're going to take the free kill on the Embark unit. Hello! Rest up. Rest up. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Could you try to make Germany your vassal? Actually, uh, that's probably an excellent idea right now. They only have one city left. Um, we should probably do... <laughs> have you come to beg for mercy? No, I haven't. But yeah, we can't negotiate yet. I could just take Munich and just end them. All right, we're going to make a new city. Eh? Why can't I build it? I'm not within... I'm not too close to anything. Maybe it needs full moves for some weird reason? When you refound Gondar, you will also get a monopoly on horses, I think. Ah, oh, thank you, Battle Hunter. Yeah, I had missed that. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this off. This is so heavy and so loud and I can't hear anything. Um, Corvette. Because it's actual metal and actual chainmail. What I need to get is, like, most movies and stuff, instead of real chainmail, they just use, like, knitted wool. And it looks convincing on screen. I mean, maybe not as much in the days of, like, HD, but certainly back in the day, that was the go-to way to have chainmail on, uh, on TV or, or in a movie or something. So you already have plus one range, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go for Bombardment 3 and hope we can get to uh, Logistics, which would be quite nice. Bombard you. Yeah, why can't I build a city here? Oh, I can't settle if I'm unhappy? Is that true? It doesn't say it here. It doesn't say anything about the button. But I guess that would be that would make sense and be fair. Alright, well we'll just fortify in place then. And we'll wait until we become happy again. Which will take a little while. Plus one range! Yeah. Oh yeah, it's an explorer. Um, we'll move here. We'll move within range of the city. That's going to be okay. We'll take a bit of bombardment, but not enough to worry about. You heal there. You heal there. You heal where you are there. Uh, you just fortify where you were. Alright, I'm going to take this off, guys. Uh, oh. Oof. <laughs> Ow! It's caught my hair! Ah, that hurts! Ah, shit! Oh. I don't think it's actually meant to be worn. <laughs> it came on a stand. I think it's more of a, you know, leave it somewhere kind of thing. Ow! Ooh. Lord mine with the resub! Yeah, I'd notice your little sub thing icon wasn't there earlier. Woo! Mm. Ow! Do I have a mark on my... Oh my god, look at that! that oh, over here. Look at that redness. That's too heavy. Whew. All right. Let's get back to just kicking some ass. We don't need armor. Past the age of armor anyway. We're in the age of guns and cannonballs and shit. So we're just going to beat up on Munich a little bit and wait for them to surrender. And yeah, if we can vassalize them, that would be great. Uh, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, Frig, you're probably okay to move up. So yeah, I'll just bombard Munich, because it'll scare the crap out of them. And it can actually kill units inside the cities. Uh, which is a great little mechanic. Who else can bombard? Oh, over here. Pew pew. Corvette, you sit tight. You don't have range, so just come over here. So we're going to kill that crossbow. I like that. I like that the cities, the units inside cities do take some bombardment damage. I think that's great. And let's go and try to kill the explorer. Walls, done. So, we are still going to have to look at our unhappiness, of course. But mostly it just means build more all the things. So we'll build an amphitheater here because it's mostly boredom. Uh, and then we'll go for a castle because I do like to have my coastal cities relatively well defended. You're supposed to wear a bandana underneath the helmet. That's probably exactly it. Ah. Oh. Do -do -do. Essentia is out! It is technically Essentia's birthday today. So she's having a bit of a day out. And uh, she'll be home later. And then maybe we'll be going out for dinner or something like that. 
see how it goes. Also, we'll make some announcements later on about um, this Saturday is going to be a special um, live stream for Essentia. Uh, it's going to be a charity live stream. We're going to fundraise for a very important charity. There'll be an announcement for that uh, maybe later in the stream or maybe I'll just put up a video on YouTube. Peter Van Drone, thank you very much for your generous tip here. Hey, Peter says, happy birthday, Essentia, grand regent of chat mods. You use this money to take her to lunch, Quill. Essentia deserves it. Well, we have had lunch. We had brunch this morning and then probably dinner if she has the energy for it. Um, she's still, you know, she's still recovering from having been ill. And it's going to depend partially on exactly how much energy she has. But right now she's enjoying the afternoon. Oot and a boot. Um, I should probably just pull back with this guy, actually. There we go. That kills the explorer. And another kill. And yeah, you just pull back. Then we'll heal you over here. So, are you willing to negotiate? Yes, Germany. Yes, you are. You have another city? You have a clone somewhere? Whatever, okay. So it's somewhere. Oh, there it is in the fog of war. Derp, derp. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to see if we can just vassalize you. Um, capitulation. Do that. Also, all your gold. Okay, that's too much. Ah, I love the peace deal value here. Um, so we've got to shave off like just over 400. So let's call it like 550. Oh! Okay, it's not linear with the gold. 750. There we go. So I'll get 750 gold and he will become my vassal. Propose. Perfect. Well, I thought it was pretty good too. Okay. Historic event. Because we won a war, we got some tourism. Bismarck's now our vassal. We made peace with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, the science tab. Yeah, but we haven't opened it up. We have a bunch of stuff queued in science. I think... Yeah, we're working our way up to steam power right now. Acoustics, meh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. But we're working our way up to steam power because revealing coal is very important. A, you build mines on it. You get a lot of extra production. But B, we need coal for certain types of ships. So that will be nice. Um, now, all our healthy ships, we can move towards... Ethiopian territory over here. And it'll be easier to just move east than anything else. Uh, let's scooch up, leave one movement. Okay, there we go. That's going to be fine. I'm still going to keep it here in case the Ethiopians decide to wrap around the world the other way. It turns out the world is round, you guys. Well, actually not round. The world is a cylinder. Did you know that? It's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you cheat your happiness up by guaranteeing those frigates in all your cities, thus offsetting some of the unhappiness from lack of security. I don't know if the frigates will increase the defensive stat, um, but yes, we could improve the, the uh, happiness that way. Also building um, range units. I would like to have one range unit in all my cities. That would be nice. You're offering me one gold per turn for spice? Surely we can do better than that, can't we? Nothing I really want from you. Let's try five, four, three... Three gold per turn. There we go. That'll work. Interesting. You would like my dies in exchange for voting yes um, with one delegate to make the saga of Erosus the world religion. Also do that. I mean, it's, it might not be the best. This die, we do have an extra die, though. Hey, what? And two gold per turn. Okay. All right. It's only one vote, but maybe it'll make a difference. We've got a tip coming in from Vike IV. Thank you, Quill. It would make me cry if I told you how much you cheer up my day. Your content is an enjoyment to watch, and I wish you the very best. Give S a hug for me, please. Thank you again. Well, thank you very much for continuing to just watch and support things. And Let me get back to you there, Haley. Um, and yeah, just, you know, sticking around and being awesome, you guys. We also got Scuba Steve from presumably Washington State. Scuba Steve WA just sent in a tip. He says, I've been watching your videos for five plus years since your Babylon Civ 5 LP. Yeah, that was, uh, that was one of my first. Was it, maybe it was even my first Civ 5 LP right when it came out. Uh, just thought you deserved to thank you for all the entertainment all these years. Well, thank you very much, Scuba, Scuba, or can I call you Steve? Uh, really appreciate the kind words, you folks. Um, I forgot my faith by. I'll double check that. So, I think I'm okay with piecing out here. He'd give me a bunch of gold. I'm okay. I don't need more cities. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, I could also just ask for fur. 
Um, I'm actually okay with just trading for... I'll just take this for now. Yeah, alright. Groovy, buddy. Peace. Unhappiness is probably going to recover soon as we build a few more things. And now we can park our ships. So we're going to take a look at that. But you can see, I don't think it increases the um, the combat strength of a city. And as a result, I don't think it increase, it'll um, offset some of the, uh, the unhappiness. But we'll go ahead and, and put our ships in our cities anyway, because it's a good place to sort of just watch and defend things. That's going to be okay. Uh, we'll put one over here in our capital. And then maybe one in what used to be Seoul. Okay, now that the war is over, let's rename these cities, because we're clearly keeping them. We are going to bring up the subscriber list. We're going to have Frankfurt. is not going to be Frankfurt. It's going to be Lord Flame Strike. Oh, just enough letters to sneak that in there. Um, that's Munich. That's not one of mine. Hamburg is going to be renamed to Visit 86. And finally, Berlin is going to be renamed to Friendly Friendly Hostile. We do name our cities off of Twitch.tv subscribers or after Twitch.tv subscribers. So thank you very much, you folks. Dun, dun, dun. Colonists, I just did it! Aha! I'm ahead of you! I mean, I realize it's like latency in our chat, so you don't know I'm ahead of you, but I am, and that was another creeper explosion. Evolution 85 says, Can this donation be for Sanchez for birthday, right? I hear she's doing better, which is awesome. Quill, keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Evolution. I will make sure to earmark that for Essentia. We'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll see if we can, I don't know, get her a cooler gift or a better dinner or something like that. I will remind everyone, though, this Saturday there will be a live stream for charity. We're going to be fundraising for charity. Um, so if you want to keep your donations and your tips for that, that would be fine and awesome and greatly appreciated. Again, stay tuned for um, another announcement for that. Uh, we'll get the charity website up and everything for you there um and yeah save your pennies to send to charity we've got a great cause all lined up for you guys but i will make sure that that gets to uh to essentia and we'll see about getting her something nice so yes i don't have a purchase set up let me check here we might have finished um at a certain point we might have finished faith buying all the universities we could or something like that i'm gonna go back to a faith purchasing cathedrals finish that and then go back to the universities and public schools because it would be nice to do also, engineers aren't that expensive. Um, I want a porcelain tower. We are working on a porcelain tower, aren't we? Well, clearly not, because I can queue it up. We want the porcelain tower. That's important. Lots of science. Let's queue that up. Now, I don't know how much competition we're going to have for it, but we might want to faith by one great engineer for that. Synthus sent in a tip, said, been following you since your Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup days. Oh, Mal, that's a game I love. My favorite true roguelike. As a fellow Canuck, I couldn't resist saying hi. Question, when will be the next front stream? Again, hi from Montreal. I actually just did an interview yesterday for a French TV uh, station here for um, what's well, TFO. It's like the um, Ontario Provincial... I get here I'm pointing you couldn't see it It was down below the screen how did this guy get here but yeah I had to do an interview for TV in French it was hard um he must have been in Munich territory and got ejected what the what the what Kicked out of German water. Yeah, but... No. Because look at this frigate. This frigate wasn't kicked out of any water. I have open borders. They're my vassal. <laughs> I... Yeah, time to make a canal city. I can go through Cologne, but there's nothing up there. What the what? Oh, there you go. Let's get this public school. Just to say. Um, so what's causing you unhappiness? Poverty. Let's get you to work on a bank. Since you have all your defenses and everything up. That's going to be groovy. Oh, 
Although, maybe a workshop first for a bit of extra production, since you're not generating that much unhappiness. And our unhappiness is dropping, which is nice. This composite bowman got a promotion. We'll go ahead and give him triple accuracy. And we've got a good amount of money. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you, since you do have so many promotions. This frigate, I will park in the city. Squ Quill Sid, Siv doesn't like that you re you didn't rename Essen. Oh, thank you very much. I did forget Essen and decided to punish me. Thank you very much. I forgot that we took four cities. I was like, no, no, I got all of them. Spunk. Dick. Spunk from Denmark. Who has been a long time viewer and also someone that we met at the Copenhagen fan meet. There you go. You've got a city named after you. Don't know if you're here today, but hopefully. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe during the peace deal, like, it, it sort of took a second where it teleported everything out of the borders and then it, you know, counts the borders as being open. Mm. That feel when a ship grows legs and crosses the beaches, Supreme Commander style. Um, no. Yeah, I could probably do some sales here. Now there is a, what is with all these people who want a luxury resource in exchange for an embassy? So I could sneak a fort in right over here. I do actually have a great general. And ships can enter forts, apparently. I mean, I have. I used to do this. I mean, in old versions of Civ, you can actually make whole, like, um, sequences of things. But if I go and put a citadel right here. Well, maybe I don't need a citadel. Maybe just a regular fort. I need a worker. Boom. Let's give it a try. I have two, oh, I do already have two engineers in my capital. Oh, that's right. They've been waiting right next door. Excellent. Blaise Pascal. Go and rush that. And you know what? We're going to... Even though we're probably um, not competing for the porcelain tower, and technically I lost a little bit of hammers off the second one, the sooner we get the porcelain tower, the better things will be. So we're going to upgrade you to a volley gun because you are very highly promoted. Oh, we got a great scientist too. And um, again, it's I, I did this last time. It's probably too early. We got a spy too. Probably too early to be uh, popping the great scientist, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because lazy. Second spy, we're mostly going to be using our spies defensively over here. Um, yeah, so we're going to move you to Nerolosa. Because tech-wise, I mean, we're not... No, no, we are number one literacy. I don't remember when that happened. Um, we're actually... Is this really us? Shit, we're number one in everything except soldiers. And clearly... We're actually number one in soldiers because our navy is second to none. The game calculates soldier counts sort of weird. Espionage update for Nerolosa. It's vulnerable. No, we just put in a defensive spy. So things are going pretty well over here. Uh, we don't have a castle in our capital. Let's get that going. We're also going to get some more chanceries up and running um, because we definitely want a little bit more of that. I think that was part of the idea in small speed as well is um, it's going to start producing um, more of our envoys. So actually, I'm going to queue up a couple over here. Because that's part of what it's going to be responsible for. Or maybe one. I'll build... I'll, I'll queue up one here. That'll be okay. And then in our capital, we'll queue one up there. There we go. And we'll start to suck up some city-states. So you just sit tight for now. And we'll see if we can't get it out of there, Mr. Danish Frigate. And you stay parked. Excellent. Get more trade. Oh, yes! We got a lot of our trade just pillaged to hell. Um... You know what? Fine. Let's do it. It's really not worth it for the horses, but right now people are cranky. Look at this shit. What is this? No. I should go around and see if I can sell some of these resources, though, because we could get some money. So trade routes, but also trading away our resources. We'll see what we can do for both of those. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe soldier calculation is employment to figure. You need a lot less sailors to man a frigate and then soldiers to man a regent, uh, regiment. Maybe. I thought it was based on, like, melee strength, but I don't know. Um, cargo ship. Cargo ship. Cargo ship. Oh, that brings us to eight. Okay. Um, Castelli is done over here. Uh, let's get a stoneworks, yeah, for some nice production. I like that. And actually, just build, like, all the production things so that you can build everything else a lot faster after that. That will be nice. Volley gun, you stay put. Worker. So let's see if we can sneak in a fort there and if that fixes anything for us. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also, we need to sell off some stuff. If you're only neutral right now, which definitely does suck. What would you give me for some coffee? Nothing. Literally nothing. And Ethiopia? 
Ugh. You know what? I'll do it for tourism reasons and things. Everyone's neutral. No one likes me that much. I think because I've probably accrued a fair amount of warmonger. Okay. But it's not my fault. I don't start the wars. I just end them.